What's up everyone? At the local fish store, gonna pick up a cleanup crew and look at some eye candy at the uh, local fish store. This is one of the frag tanks for saltwater heaven in here in El Paso, Texas. One of the nicer fish stores that we do have. And uh, it's open 20, well, not 24 seven, I wish, but uh, seven days a week. So that's a nice benefit right there. Looking at some uh, frags, I was thinking about getting some Maniporas quick look at their uh, sticks which I'm not really interested in I'm more interested in uh, LPS, Zoas and uh, Pallies right now for my tank um, just got back from vacation went to uh, California visited An Anaheim and uh, San Francisco beautiful places out there and so I'm back and uh, I don't have to budget anymore so decided to look at some uh, tanks uh, this is the Red Sea Max that they have here. It's one of the larger tanks that they do have. Pretty nice, very successful. The lighting that you're using is um, T5s. They haven't switched to LEDs on this, but um, you know, nonetheless, it's uh, looking pretty sweet. All right, guys, I ended up picking a few things up from the LFS. Picked up some Zoas right there. Pretty sweet looking ones. Um, picked up a couple of snails that they did have. Picked up a frag of like a Montipora one, but it's a really dark, really tiny frag and um, has like little dark purple looking uh, feeders coming out of it. Looks pretty sweet. There's the Zoas again. Ended up picking some uh, blue hermit crabs. Um, I had wanted to order some from uh, Reef Cleaners, but then I had to pay the $20 overnight shipping and I wasn't down with that. Also picked up a uh, Harlequin shrimp right there. He's going to eat those little nuisance starfish that we got in the tank um, I got this guy because I think uh, those little starfish have been eating my coralline algae and also doing mainly doing damage to um, some zoos that I have um, so hopefully this guy can uh, help um, contain those starfish and um, see what's up also the uh, wife also picked up a uh, pink flower pot coral it's looking pretty sweet um, right there it's a big piece right there look pretty sweet under the uh, LEDs that they have and hopefully it does well in my own tank right here in addition to the uh, little mini cleanup crew that I got I ended up getting putting some GFO in my uh, reactor right there the reason I wasn't running GFO is because I did a modification on my um, canister and all the GFO was falling through there so it wasn't tumbling uh, but looking at the skimmer this is some of the skimmy that uh, was left over that it produced from uh, when I was when I was in Cali, ended up putting this piece of uh, live rock down there. I was gonna just let it dry out because it was covered in that red algae that you can see in my sump. But uh, I still cor coralline growing on there, so I was like, eh, I'll go ahead and keep it in the system. There is uh, the white uh, flower pot starting to come out. Looks pretty sweet. Ended up uh, breaking it in half actually. Um, as my 34 gallon matures. I'm going to go ahead and pit the other half in the uh, 34 gallon Salona. So that will save me a couple bucks. Has some eye candy also. And also on the right of that is my Blasto. I ended up picking that Blasto up from uh, a different LFF um, when I ended up getting the uh, Black Clowns. I ended up getting an Eheim 3000. Pit it on the 120. I moved over the pump that was on the 120 onto the 34 gallon. Everything's going good. I had to dial it back a little bit because it is a 600 gallon per hour uh, pump. Um, but uh, pretty happy with it. I still have the Harbor Freight pump. Ended up using the Harbor Freight pump to uh, mix salt. And the only reason I just changed them out is because the Eheim is a lot more uh, quieter. All right, you're looking at the uh, first crew to go into the 34. Hopefully they do well the cycle on this tank. I ended up using that uh, instant stuff in the bottle. It's been more than 24 hours. It's actually been like 60 something days now since I last uh, made the mistake of dumping all my water. Uh, skimmer's going and uh, fish are in the tank. Uh, hopefully they do well. Like I said, um, excited. I'm going to go ahead and move some uh, GSP into the tank. Just see how it does. And... Uh, if you haven't done so guys, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe and like. Really appreciate all the new subscribers and thanks for watching. Take care.